Hello students. I hope you were able to solve the homework question that was given in the previous video lesson. In this video lesson of lines and angles, that is part four, we will see how to solve the second question from exercise 6.1. Have a look. Okay, now these are problems based on exercise 6.1. This is the second question. If A is to B equal to 2 is to 3, find the value of C. Now you have to write down this question in your notebook along with the diagram and note down the solution. This is a very important question. Now in this, they have given you the ratio of A is to B. That is 2 is to 3. Students, I have mentioned this even earlier that whenever the ratio is given, you have to assume the common multiple to be x. So if a is to b equal to 2 is to 3, then we assume a to be 2x and b to be 3x. Okay. Now, after having written down that, next step will be angle POX plus angle POY equal to 180 degree because they are angles in a linear pair. Okay. But what is this angle POX? Isn't this angle POX the addition of these two angles? So POX is A plus B. So you get A plus B plus 90 degree because it is mentioned that angle POY is 90 degree. And the total of these angles is 180 degree. Now you have already written down the value of a you have assumed a to be 2x so substitute a equal to 2x and b equal to 3x so you get 2x plus 3x plus 90 is equal to 180 when you solve it you get 5x equal to 90 so the value of x is equal to 18 degree now that you got the value of x as 18 substitute that 18 in this so you get 2 into 18, therefore A is equal to 36 and B will be 3 into 18, so the value of B is 54. So students here, we have found out what is A and what is B. In the question, I have asked you to find out C. But until and unless you don't calculate this, you will not know the value of C. Now, let us continue further. So we get A as 36 degree and B as 54 degree. Now how do you find out the value of C? There are different methods of doing this. Feel free to use any method. Measure angle MOX plus measure angle XON equal to 180 degree. Look at angle MOX and angle NOX. They are angles in a linear pair. So MOX plus NOX is equal to 180 degree. You already know the value of B. We calculated that. And the value of B is B is 54 degree. So 54 degree plus C is 180 degree. So you get C as 126 degree. So angle X or N equal to 126 degree. Students, this is one way of solving this problem. There is also another method. Instead of using these two angles as angles in a linear pair, what you could do is calculate angle MOY. Now, MOY is A plus 90. A is already 36. We have found that out. So, 36 plus 90 is MOY. So, therefore, angle MOY equal to 126 degree. Angle XON is vertically opposite to angle MOY. So what will be angle XON? It will be 126. Whichever method you are applying students, it is necessary that you write the reason for that. Example, I have used angles in a linear pair, so I have written linear pair. If you are writing XON equal to MOY equal to 126, then you have to write because they are vertically opposite angles. I repeat once again, this very question can be done in different methods, okay? And make a note of this. This is a very, very important question. 
6.1 question number 2. Now let us move ahead. We will do another question from this exercise. This is also a very important question. I want you to make a note of it in your book. It is question number three, 6.1. You will also draw the diagram. The diagram is already given in the textbook. In the figure, angle PQR is equal to angle PRQ. So I have shown that with two dots indicating that these two angles are equal. You have to prove Angle PQS, that is this angle, is congruent to angle PRT, that is this angle. Now, whenever a proof is given, you have to write down what is given and what you need to prove. Okay? So, let us mention what is given. The solution. So, it is given that these two angles are equal. And what is it that you need to prove? You need to prove that angle PQS is equal to angle PRT. Students, I don't want you to learn this by rote. You have to understand how to write down these proofs. The clue out here is consider what is given. So since you know that this angle is equal to this angle, let us find out the relation between the given angle and the exterior angle. If you look at PQS, it is outside this triangle. So, it becomes the exterior angle of this triangle. Right? So, proof. The first statement will be, take the first given angle and use angles in a linear pair. So, with that, you get angle PQR plus angle PQS is equal to 180 degree because they are angles in a linear pair. You could also write it the other way. You could write this angle here and if you want, you could transfer this angle on this side. So, first step is mentioning which are the angles in a linear pair. Okay. Now, the same thing you are going to repeat again but with the other given angle. So, it is also given that PRQ is congruent to PQR. So, take this angle PRQ. So, the next step will be Angle PRQ plus angle PRT equal to 180 degree because they are angles in a linear pair. Now, students, I have explained this before that when the right hand side of this equation is equal, automatically the left hand side will be equal. Now, there is an equal to sign. This equal to sign divides it into left hand side and right hand side. This is the left hand side of the equation, right hand side. So, since the right hand side is equal, 180, 180, what happens to the left hand side? We will equate them. So, what you get from statement 1 and 2? This is what you get from statement 1 and 2. PQR plus PQS is equal to PRQ plus PRT. Okay? Now, Make use of the information that is given to you. It is mentioned these two angles are equal. So, make a note of that. Write it down. That will be your next step. But angle PQR is equal to angle PRQ. So, what happens if these two angles are equal? Let us strike off PQR and PRQ. So, in the next step, I am striking them off. Okay. See, PQR. Can you see that with a blue line? I'm striking it off with a blue line. It is equal to PRQ, so it cancels. Why does it cancel? If these two angles are equal, means their measures are equal, right? Suppose PQR is 60 degree, then what will be PRQ? It will also be 60. So if these two angles are equal, it cancels off. Okay? Now, next step. PQR and PRQ both cancel off. 180 degree and 180 degree also cancels off. That means, assume PQR is 60. 60 plus what will give you 180? So, what will be PQS? 120. This is also 60. We are assuming it, okay? 
60 plus what will give you 180? So, what will be PRT? 120. So, what conclusion do we draw from this? That when these two angles are equal and when the right hand side is also equal, automatically what happens to these two angles? They will become equal. So, what will be the next step? When you strike it off, you get therefore PQS is equal to PRT, hence proved. Students, this is extremely important, this question. I want all of you to write down this entire proof in your notebook. Okay? I repeat the steps again. These two angles are congruent. So, use angles in a linear pair. Here also, you will use angles in a linear pair. But the right-hand side is already equal, so it will cancel. The left hand side that is PQR and PRQ are also equal. So, what is remaining? PQS is equal to PRT and that is what we have proved. I hope this is clear. Now, I have done question number 1, question number 2 and question number 3 from 6.1. Question number 1 I have already done in the earlier video lesson. Now, I will be giving you an extra question which I want you to do for homework. Okay? Have a look at it. Extra question. I want you to solve this in the book. Now, in the figure AOB, which is a straight line, X is to Y is to Z is equal to 4 is to 5 is to 6. Then you have to find the value of Y in this. Now they have asked you only to find the value of y in this. I don't want you to give direct answers. You will solve it in the book. When you solve it, you will get the answer as angle C O D equal to 60 degree. Try it out. I just I will give you a clue. All these angles together they form a straight angle. They are angles in a linear pair. Okay. And the ratio is also given 4 is to 5 is to 6. I've already mentioned whenever the ratio is given, you will use the common multiple to be x. But here already x is there. So you could write let the common multiple be m or let the common multiple be n or you could even take the common multiple to be a. Okay. So 4a plus 5a plus 6a equal to 180 degree. You get the value of a. So when you get the value of a, what will be 4a? 4a will be 4 into the value of a. So you have got x. Then 5a, 5 into the value of a, you will get y. And z will be 6a, 6 into the value of a, you will get the value of z. Again, there are different methods of doing this. Feel free to use whichever method you find easy. So students, whatever homework I have given you from this chapter, I want you to please do it, solve it because you could get such type of questions in the exam. I am not doing more than two problems in the video lessons because I want you to understand them and try it out on your own uh, and also go through these extra questions. So students, with this, uh, we end this video lesson and in the next video lesson, we will continue with 6.1 and see how to solve the other questions. Until then, goodbye and thank you.